but compared to other takeaways they have said it's got a higher nutritional value it's not saying i'm not saying it's healthy but um fish and chips yes it has a higher nutritional value compared to having kebabs and burgers and anything else as so they say but yes it's not on it's not very healthy at all fish and chips not at all so hi chef slipknot forever how you doing buddy Fish and chips taste so good though, uh, that's some good fried catfish. It is good my friend, but you've got to take it with a pinch of salt and moderation and have something else, you know. Um, it will help look after you in the long run. Fish and chips is lovely and great to have as a treat even so often. Yeah, every now and again, as I said, I, I think the last time I had them was a good couple of months ago. Um, I haven't had them for a while. So I don't I can't even remember. That's probably the last time I had chips as well was like months ago when I had those fish and chips. I haven't really eaten any chips or deep fried stuff for quite some time now. Aqua farm catfish though. Yum. I like catfish in my seafood gumbo. Gumbo is amazing. I've heard gumbo. Gumbo is American like kind of uh, not soup is it? I can't remember. Somebody explained it to me the other day and it sounded quite nice. Cheers for gumbo. Every, every so often. Yeah, that's it. Kerosene. You got the idea. My guilty pleasure with fish uh, is clam chowder as well as fish chips on, on, on the pier. Yeah, clam chowder is a very big dose in cream and it's very nice. Don't get me wrong. Um, I don't think I've had a proper one though. I wouldn't mind going back to America when I go see my girlfriend to go have some kind of food like that. Or go to a proper fish, and fish restaurant where you can have fresh lobster and stuff and crab. and I would love it. And I think she would as well. So guys, sorry, I'm rambling and um, I'm going to get the... I'm going to have to move the camera slightly, so I do apologise for the moving. Just so I can get this uh, food processor, processor out so I can blend up this mackerel. Very old-fashioned food processor, I'm not going to lie to you guys. So, um, this food processor is probably older than I am. It is. How old is it? Guys, this is 35 years old, this food processor. Food processor. <laughs> Waiting for a new one. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I'm sure I will when I make some big big money one day. Um, yeah. The, um, yeah, this is 35 years old. This is a very old food processor. And it still runs like an absolute machine. So, um, yeah, this thing is older than I am. That's how insane it is. <clears throat> um, my guilty pleasure oh yeah i've already read that but i basically get a burger with a lot of fish and chip shop a lot from a fish and a chip shop uh those burgers are way better than other fast food shops i love making my own burgers guys it's really not hard to make your own burgers just buy some mint make your own flavors and you don't have those extra stuff in it if you really want to do it properly or decent, buy yourself a lean steak and mince it up yourself if you've got a mincer. That's the best way of doing it. I hate buying these pre pre packed, pre made burgers. Really not nice. Oh my god, clam chowder. Don't have it often, but it's delicious as a treat. I like healthy fish recipes too, though. That's also good, Rebel Girl. Good on you. I tend to get cod chips, a pie, and maybe something else I fancy. Everyone loves fish and chips in this channel. Everyone's like, fish and chip hype, hype, hype. <laughs> I tend to... Oh, yeah, that's right. That sounds good. The cods are local. Sal are bloody huge and are so cheap as well. Small shop in uh, Anaheim, CA. And best clam chowder. Pretty good. Hey, chef, would you fish... Uh, would fish work in a pie? For instance... Uh, pot pie that we have in America, or will you will the fish not hold together while cooking or turn to mush? Um, I did do a, um, a kind of a fish pie, but without pastry the other week. Um, have I moved this camera so much it's all over the shop a little bit? i just move that back a bit. Oh, I hate this. Hold on a sec. I just really want to move this around. It's going to aggravate me slightly. I think that's about right. I think if I really move that right over, we don't have. I hate it when I move my camera and then I can't move it again and then it's just going to bug me. There we go, that's fine. So, um, 
Yeah, um, sorry, yeah, you could... I could make a pastry fish pie, yes. And I'd use phyllo pastry. We've used a lot of phyllo pastry lately, so I've kind of, kind of curve off that a little bit. Um, so, um, I will put it down and come back to it. So, yeah, probably make kind of like a pastry fish pie at some point with phyllo pastry, which is a great alternative than using puff pastry or any other fatty pastry. Uh... <laughs> so guys, at my primary school we had a song about fish and chips. We love them that much. Oh well. You guys love fish, which is great. It's great to hear you like fish. But fish and chips are like definitely on the board. You guys are like, we love fish and chips. Even though it's not good for you. It's a very British thing. Um, I know you get them in America as well, but... Uh, we certainly do go a bit crazy over in Britain for fish and chips. Loser Fruit, thank you so much for the follow. How are you doing, my friend? Welcome to the Fish Madness stream. <laughs> where we're talking about fish all day. Um, how are you doing, my friend? How are you going? How, how are you doing? Thank you for uh, the follow. Guys, please welcome Fruit. Loser Fruit to the stream. Make him feel welcome. Thank you so much for the follow, my friend. How are you doing? So I'm just popping this mackerel in the food processor because we're going to make mackerel pate. Absolutely delicious. I love this stuff. It's amazing. Um, you can add whatever flavors you want in this mackerel pate, guys. Um, as I said, I'm just going to add a little bit of horseradish and horseradish yogurt, and I'm going to add maybe a bit of lime squeeze in there as well. So, a bit of lime. We don't think we're going to need salt because it's been smoking. It's already quite salty as it is, so, um, you know, it should be fine. There's a little squeeze of lime in there, so. Then half, half, half a lime in there. Two chilled. Thank you so much for the follow, my friend. And Rock Thunderbolt, guys. Welcome our new followers to the channel, guys. Two chilled and Rock Thunderbolt. Thank you guys for the follow. How are you guys doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Thank you so much for the follows, guys. Um. So, what we're gonna do? Let's chuck this lime away. Awesome. We're gonna blend this up now. We get this into a nice little patty mix. New England clam chowder. Forty nine pennies. I'm just gonna say thumbs up and really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Forty nine pennies. Um. My God. Oh, wow. Wolf. <laughs> Wolf Biker. Salt and Shake. Diffuse. And I Defenstrate and Tedge the King. Thank you so much for follows, my friends. Welcome to the channel, guys. Hope you're doing good. Guys, welcome. Am I getting raided or something? Something going on? Is our quiet Sunday going to be destroyed and stamped down? What's going on with all these follows? Wow. Getting all jumped by people. How are you doing, guys? Welcome to the channel. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. We're making a mackerel pate, which we're going to blend up. Um, I would show you the smoothie, but my um, family's eating it. So um, we have got a little bit left here, which we made this morning. Um, I will be putting pictures on Instagram. Trust me, it looks a lot more sexier than that. Believe you me. So you'll see the pictures on Instagram. Guys, thank you so much for the follows. It's lovely. Nice to see you all. Welcome to the channel. Hope you're all doing good. Am I getting raided or something? Or can somebody... I can't see any kind of raid. Was it just me? We're just getting an influx of people. It's very strange. I'm not complaining. I'm very happy. I hope you guys enjoy the channel too. Um, good morning, Chef. Good morning, Alex Cinex. How are you doing, my friend? I love finally a chef streaming. You were mentioned in Loose Fruits channel. Oh, right. Okay. Thank you. Um, really do appreciate it. Um... Is Loose Fruits a, a streamer then? <clears throat> Sorry, I don't. I'm, I'm new to streaming, guys, so I don't know anyone. So if they are, um, I really do apologise if um, I don't know anyone because I've only been here eight weeks, nearly nine weeks. So um, I've been mentioned in the channel. That's cool. I'm glad somebody likes me. Um, if we have a. a, 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 a have I just got raided? I just literally got raided by somebody. Or was it kind of a semi-raid? 
Guys, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for the follows. Uh, really appreciate it. She's lovely. She cooks right now as well. Oh, right, okay. Um, I think I need to give her a follow because um, that's lovely for somebody to say that in the channel. What's your Instagram? Um, we will pop the Instagram in the channel now. One of my mods will do it for me. Or I'll do it. Whichever. Uh, also, can I have a, a link? I'm, I'm cracking the whip now on these mods. Can I have a link to Loose Fruit? Uh, Loser Fruit channel, please. Um, I would like to give uh, a follow. It would be nice to give some love back. If my mods are awake. I'm just waiting waiting for the delay. It's 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 coming. Thank you, 49 pennies. <laughs> Appreciate it, my friend. I'm gonna throw a follow now. 